Thank you for tuning in, and welcome to this review and unboxing of the new Dunkeldorf Miniatures. For those who don't know what Dunkeldorf is, it uh, was a Kickstarter that launched back in uh, March this year. And um, it's basically a range of town folks uh, that can be used for any fantasy setting, though they, in style, look very uh, Warhammer Fantasy or Old Hammer, if you will. And uh, I find them really charming. So I bought the Kickstarter and was lucky enough to get the early bird. Uh, so in a short moment, we will have a look at what's in the box. But first, and I'm not being paid to say this, it's uh, simply me wanting to review uh, the website. You can see they are, they've been launched and there are 20 entries. Uh, various townsfolks and you can get a box with all of them, including some accessories and some pets, or you can buy them as single miniatures. And these are all uh, metal miniatures, uh, which goes well with the old hammer style. And just to review the price in euro, in pounds. And in dollars. So very reasonably priced. And um, yeah, I, uh, for those who've been following the channel, I got a few of these to review back when the Kickstarter launched and was very impressed with them. So I'm curious to see what's, uh, or not curious, excited is a better word, excited about the, the whole range. So yeah, enough blabbering uh, from me about this. Let's get the big box on the table and find the camera and have a look. What, uh, have a look, see. Right. So, as you can see, it's a rather big box. Whoops! Sorry. Nicely protected. Oh, heavy. What is this? What is this? Ooh, a Dunkeldorf coffee mug. That is nice. I didn't know I was going to get one of these. Well. That'll find some good use. I might use it for paint water because it's uh, it's very charming. <laughs> and then nice to protect it. Dear Louis. Thank you for being one of the early birds of the very first Dunkeldorf Kickstarter. We can't express how much we appreciate your support, so we tried to get these slightly mutated birds to tell you instead. Unfortunately, they failed as well, but we really can't thank you enough. <laughs> no, that's cute. A bunch of stiggles. I love stiggles, as some of you know. More stickers, flyer for King Games, flyer for Dungledorf, a quick guide to how to handle the minis before painting. Some lovely art cards. A bunch of slider bases. And the minis themselves.
And as with the last bunch I received, the detail is lovely. I don't know how well it comes out on camera. Might have to uh, get some of them out on the desk to have a better look. And the stretch goals. There is quite a few of these. Damn. Lucky me. Ooh, and a weapon sprue. I forgot about that one. Yeah, let's get some of these on bases and out on the desk. Here we go. We have the little halfling. And he can either be uh, just placed on a base or there is a little stool that you can place him on. I think I'll just use him on the base like this. Let's zoom in for you a bit. I used to love halflings when I was a kid, so uh, I'll probably uh, paint this one up for uh, for an NPC for some uh, some role playing campaign. Then we have Oop. the beggar. Again, lovely detail, especially for a metal mini. Um, and still, that old hammer feel and style to it. I like it a lot. The tax collector, I believe she is. Very Warhammer Fantasy with the... What you call these poofy things on the sleeves. Um, we have one of my favorites, which, lucky me, is also on my coffee mug. The red catcher. There'll be a bit of cleanup to do there, but that is to be expected with metal minis, uh, or minis in general. I have a noble lady. She is so cool. All of these have names, by the way, but I can't recall them all offhand. And the woodchopper, lumberjack, if you will. We have a oh blacksmith slash dentist. <laughs> Flash on the button of his the slot in his slaughter base. As you can see, they're uh, very town folky and uh, will probably be great for dioramas and stuff too. I think I'll use them as NPCs for uh, for RPing. But I can see these many of them used in Frostgrave too uh, or Mordheim. Oh, th this is the blacksmith. Then what is this guy? Maybe he is the dentist. Then we have oh, a noble. I love this model. Standing on a bottle with a glass. He could very well be used as a vampire too.
And this guy, I don't remember what he is, but he is very iconic and used for much of the the artwork that I've seen for Dunkledorf. Quite a main character. And the guard captain who is the only uh, really adventuring looking type too, with an axe down there, nice fur coat, long hair, very Middenheim-ish. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, it's Middenheim. Very middenheim -y character. So, that is all the, the standard minis. Let's have a quick look at what's in the... So, for free stretch goals, I received a bunch of more characters. Another guard with a heavy mace. The Butcher, uh, who is the only Dwarf so far in Dunkledorf. This scary looking guy holding a candle would work great with the Noble for our Vampire Servant. Um, yeah, another fancy looking person. Would work great as a thief or some such. And another favorite of mine, the crone. Then there is all the accessories. I'm not gonna go through them, but there are a forge, or not forge, an anvil, and a chopping block with an axe in it. Some trays with the books and wine. There are the three pets you can also buy. Weapons brew. And finally, a barrel of sausages for the butcher and a cauldron for the crone. These are in resin. Which is quite nice too. I can't see the okra anywhere. I thought I bought him as an add on, but uh, I'll have to check in with, uh, with Nigi and Nana over at King Games. Maybe I. Uh, I didn't manage to uh, to add it on. But anyway, that is the Dunkledorf Early Bird Kickstarter unboxed. And um, well, I'm very excited about these. I don't know when I will get the time to paint them. I have uh, a lot of stuff going on right now, getting back into 40k and there's Gaslands and other games, but I am uh, very sure I'll have fun when I, when it comes to putting paint on these. So yeah, hope you found this informative. Uh, go over to uh, kinggames.dk if you want to uh, get some of these for yourself. And let me know below what you think. Uh, and if you like this type of unboxing. Um, I might do, uh, do more if it gets positive feedback uh, on other Kickstarters and such. Until next time, take care and bye bye.